Okay, hello again, here we are, week nine. Uh, the subject topic is probability, and this is video one, of course. Uh, unit seven, lesson six and seven, what are we looking at this week? Uh, we'll start off with our definition, of course, and if you will go turn to page 257 of the textbook, what you will find is that experiment is actually the final word, the only word left for us to define. And if you then turn to page 281, you find at the top of the page the word experiment in bold face, but the book doesn't actually define what it means. What it does instead is give you an example, and we will go through uh, that example even for video two. But in the meantime, I'd like to start with the definition, and I found this one at, on the, with the Cambridge Free online dictionary and what it said was that as a noun and in our textbook the word is being used as a noun an experiment is a test done in order to learn something or to discover if something works or is true so an experiment is a test done in order to learn something or to discover if something works or is true that's the sense we're using it in the textbook. As a verb, it means something fairly similar. As a verb, it means to try something in order to discover what it is like, or find out more about it. Okay, so that's a general definition of the word experiment. I then, of course, went to Barron's Mathematical Study Dictionary, and there was a definition for experimental probability. And what it said was, the experimental probability of an outcome is the value found after an activity has been done several times and is given by. And when in math they say is given by in that context, they mean usually that it's some sort of a formula. Uh, before we move on though, I'll just remind you that outcome is the result of an activity also known as an event. So, the experimental probability of an event or the result of an activity is the value found after an activity has been done several times and is given by, and here we have the formula. So let's look at that formula. It is the number of times that an outcome or outcomes did happen over the number of times that an activity was done. Hmm, okay, let's, so let's, let's read it again. The number of times that an outcome or outcomes did happen over the number of times that activity was done. What does that mean? Well, I'll give you an example. If I had this doorstop and I dropped it on the ground and it landed once flat like this and it landed a second time up like this, I would record it as two trials and if I was looking for the number of times that it landed upright like this point up that would be one and that would be the named outcome and that's why I put it up here so that we would really focus on it so the named outcome so the number of trials the number of times I did the experiment was two and the number of times that the, the named outcome happened was one <clears throat> so you can see that turns out to be a fraction, doesn't it? <clears throat> you could say half the time the named outcome happened. Or out of every two trials, one time the named came, uh, the named outcome happened. And if I tried it more times, let's say I dropped it four times, and again it only landed on the point with the point up once, then I would say, well, that's a quarter of the time. That it, that it happened. I did the, the, uh, the, uh, the activity four times and once it came up with the point up. <clears throat> so, that is experimental probability. The only other term that I want to make you aware of is the number of times that an outcome did happen is sometimes referred to as the frequency. And that's just what it means. The number of times that something happens is its frequency. Okay, so there's a, a 
pretty good definition, a beginning of what an experiment is and what experimental probability is. And video two, we will, I will go ahead and uh, we will explore that, uh, that example that I was talking about earlier. GoPro, stop recording.